Okay, in this video we're going to cover some of the basic te sabaki or hand movements that we'll generally run into in Aikido. Um, one of the things I'd like to point out is that the wrist will generally turn in two directions. It's going to turn inside and it's going to turn outside. And anatomically speaking, you turn it enough in any direction and it's going to stop turning naturally and it will begin to hurt, uh, which is what we focus on. So as the hand begins to turn out, you see our first technique as it rolls out is kotegaishi. The hand will roll out and down. If you continue this outward movement all the way, you'll begin to see the shape for shihonage we've shown. As the wrist rolls in and under, again, you'll see the first technique that we have is nikkyo. And as you continue that movement all the way around, you'll see the hand position for sankyo. So all of these are considered wrist locks or pins that can hurt quite badly and cause a little bit of damage if your partner doesn't move along with it, which is why we want to do some of the stretching exercises that you see. So for kodegaishi, the first one I demonstrated, if you look at your own palm, take your other hand and place that thumb right in between the ring and pinky finger, wrap your fingers around the base of the thumb, and I want to use my thumb to push out and around. Pull straight down your center as you create that pressure. So this is a good exercise to prepare yourself for kodegaishi. You turn your hand in the other direction. One hand is thumb down, the other hand is thumb up. And use that thumb to take the inside of my palm and my fingers to grasp the thumb at the bottom of the hand. I want to lift my pinky directly to my forehead while keeping my elbow low. Try not to lift it up this way. In and again, drop it straight down your center. You'll begin to feel the stretch. All right. We also like to just in general flex the wrist. So take the back part of your hand, pull that straight up your center towards your face and you'll feel the stretch. We'll also see a variation for Sankyo as you point your palm away from you. Put your palms together and I want to twist the hand as I push up and towards my armpit. Again, you'll begin to feel the stretch there and it's a good idea just to loosen up the fingers as well whenever you have a chance. So basic teisabaki, you'll see the movements for kodegaishi, nikkyo, shihonage, it's another form of nikkyo, and the finger exercises. Teisabaki, hand movements.